The following segment is sponsored by the Regional Water Providers Consortium. Welcome back to AM Northwest. September is National Preparedness Month, a great time to get your family ready for an emergency. Our own Tammy Hernandez gets some helpful tips. We're getting tips on how to prepare for emergencies. I'm in Northeast Portland with Luis Martinez. He's with Regional Water Providers Consortium. So you have five tips on how to prepare for emergencies. And a lot of these involve water since you're with Regional Water Providers Consortium. The first one is to get water. That is correct. So depending, uh, here are some examples of different containers that we have. The main thing that you wanna take off of this to be prepared for an emergency is how much to store and how, how much water to store. Right. So the one thing that we recommend, it is one gallon per day per person. Gotcha. So you wanna be prepared for about 14 days. Okay. Now. Let's not forget about our little pits that we have at home as well. Okay. You want to be prepared and make sure you have enough water for them as well. And how do you know how much water to get for your pets? Well, it depends. I mean, every pet is different depending on the size. But one thing that we do recommend is checking with your vet as well. That makes or sense. Or a simple, you know, how much water does your pet normally drink? Yeah, like pay attention and then just gauge it from there. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Okay, second tip is is store it, and you can get creative on how to store it. Exactly. Depending on the size that you, your home is, um, you know, if you live on a small apartment, condo, or a you know family sing, single family home, um, we have different sizes here, like you can see. Some are thinner for you to be able to store it under your bed. Oh, that's Some are nice. Bigger, so you can store it in your garage, or okay. even simple bottled water that you can put in a closet. Okay, oh, that's nice. Okay, and your third tip, and I love this one, is that you can get water from your water heater. That's correct. So one of the things that you can get from your water heater is about 30 to 80 gallons that you can get, and you can use that to, you know, drink, hygiene, and even for cooking. Okay, and is this water you can drink right away, or do you need to treat it? No, that takes us to our next step. So you have to treat that water. Okay. And what we recommend to treat that water is unscented bleach. Okay. Um, there are other devices that you can get at the stores, like personal uh, filters, um, but the main one is unscented bleach. Okay, and then knowing how much bleach, regular chlorine bleach, I don't know why that surprises me, but you have information on your website on how much bleach to put in the water to make it drinkable. That is correct. Okay. And we also do have a how-to video that takes you on how to get that water from your water heater step oh, by step. That's perfect. I love that. Your videos are great on your website. Okay, okay, and your final tip is that it's not just about the water to be prepared in other ways. And one way is to sign up for alerts from publicalerts.org. Exactly. So you, just in your neighborhood, it's super easy to sign up. You go on their website um, and you can get text messages or emails. Um, it could be for various reasons but it's all uh, regarding emergency so it keeps you more prepared for that situation okay. and so by signing up you're opting in and so they're sending you texts that are just applicable to your neighborhood that is correct okay gotcha okay these are all great tips if you want more information plus all the great videos that we mentioned you will find those on the regional water providers website and we will have a link at katu.com thanks Luis. you're welcome back to you